To write the name for KF, we first need to realize that this is an ionic compound. That's because we have a metal bonded to a nonmetal. Metal and nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. We also can recognize that it's a binary ionic compound. That's because we have one, two different types of elements bonded together. And with a binary ionic compound, we can use these rules here to write the name. So we'll write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. K, that's potassium. And then for the nonmetal, we'll write the name as it appears on the periodic table, so fluorine, small f, but we'll replace the ending with IDE. So we'll get rid of the INE and write IDE. And this is the name for KF, potassium fluoride. If you're given the name potassium fluoride and asked to find the formula, you need to recognize that potassium has, has a one plus ionic charge and fluorine, it has a one minus when they're bonded. The one plus and the one minus, they balance out, give us a net charge of zero. So we just have KF for potassium fluoride. This is Dr. B with the name for KF, potassium fluoride. Thanks for watching.